Well, it's time for the boys to leave Hawaii. They had a great time there. They got to do some great things. Every place they've been so far, they've had a great time. They've met great birds and animals. And this time, they met some guys who like to surfboard. Well, Hawaii to the boys is really like who knows where. I mean, they look on Google Maps and they can see the United States and they can see Utah. And that's really, really where they want to get to because it's Christmas and they really want to see their guy. And they're really starting to feel a little homesick too because they've been gone away from the shop for a long time. So before they left, they said they wanted to call the sparrows. So they did. They called the sparrows back at the shop. Phone rings and the sparrows answer. H-O-S gate. Hey guys, how you doing? Says Smalls. Hey Smalls, how you been man? Where you guys at now? Well, we're in Hawaii. Wow, what is Hawaii man? Is that a food you eat? <laughs> no man, that's Nairobi. <laughs> No, not really. Hey, remember when we were in Africa and we said we was going to send them guys some more boards? Will you make sure that you guys do that for us before we leave, man? Because, like, it's almost Christmas, you know, and them guys, they're really poor, man. They don't have nothing. So make sure you send them some more boards and scooters and definitely send them some bikes if we got some around, man, like a bunch of them. Hey, no problem, man. We'll take care of that right away because we're on top of everything here at the, at the skate shop. Hey, the skate park, man, it's been like packed every day. There have been birds coming in here buying Christmas presents and stuff. You can't believe how many shirts we sold and how many helmets and stickers we've sold to everybody because of Christmas. It looks like everybody in the world is going to get something this year. It's amazing, man. It's just like... Small's like, oh, it's so cool, man. And he tells Holly and he tells Hope about it. And they're all like pumped up because, man, they never had any idea that it would get that big. But it is. It is just that big. And it's just that wild and crazy. And so they talked to the sparrows for a while. And the sparrows told them all about everything that had been going on and everything's going great back at home. But they wanted to get back home too because they really wanted to get back to the shop and start working on some new stuff that they'd been thinking about. But before they go back, they really, really want to see that boy. So anyway, the birds in Hawaii have told them that what they want to do is get on a ship and go to California. And when they get to California, all they have to do is follow Google Maps and get over to Utah. You know, should be pretty easy. So the birds in Hawaii took them to the port, which is where all the cruise ships were. And they said, which one do you guys want to go on? Hope said, well, which one's going to California? Oh, I think all of them are going to California. I'm pretty sure they're all going to California. We don't know. We never did it before. Well, what do you mean? Well, we just always heard that those boats right there go to California. But you don't really know that? No, nah, man, we don't want to go to California. We live in Hawaii, man. This is the best place in the world anyway. Oh, boy, said Hope. So we should just pick one? Yeah, pick that big giant white one right there and get on it. That's the one I get on. Look, it's got a water slide, man. You just can, like, do some water sliding and stuff. Hope, Holly and Small says, okay, guys. Well, thank you very, very much, and we had the best time. And we'll see you guys soon. And look for us on YouTube. And we'll put your videos on there here before Christmas. So in the next couple days, you can get the videos of us surfing and you guys surfing and all the cool stuff you guys do at your skate park. So off they went. Flew up. Now I got to tell you what. This cruise ship is big. It is a monster of a boat, man. I mean... It must be 10 stories tall, and there must be thousands and thousands of people on this boat. Well, they fly all the way up to the very top of the boat, and they get on a rail, and they go, Wow, we're up really high, man. This is, like, big. 
And Ollie looks down and he goes, oh, man. He goes, I know I'm a bird and I'm not supposed to be dizzy, but I feel kind of dizzy up here. This is such a big boat. Small says, yeah, man, let me get some video of this. So he, of course, gets out his phone and he's taking some videos of everything he's seeing. People are getting on and it's amazing just how many people are waiting to get onto this boat. They can see that there's a swimming pool, water slides, a place where you can surfboard, you know, one of those surfboard things that have the, the wave pool like. And they stayed on there and finally, I mean, after half a day of waiting, the boat finally took off. Well, as it was taken off, the guys were going, wow, you think this thing's going to California, man? I don't know. I hope so. If we don't get to California soon, we don't get to Utah soon. Guys, it's almost Christmas like right now, man. I mean, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I don't know how fast this boat's going to go, but I mean, it's not going very fast. And all I see is a bunch of water. We got a long way to go. Say, so get out their Google Maps and they look. And uh, Small says, wow, man, I don't have any signal out here in the ocean. What do you mean, signal? I can't see nothing here, man. We don't have any signal, and I don't know. It, like, says there's Wi-Fi, but I don't know the password to their Wi-Fi here. Oh, man, we don't even know how far away we are. No, man, but this thing's going really slow. Baby and birds didn't know what they were talking about. Oh, them birds never even left before. Oh, man, what are we going to do? They were really really worried about this. So, anyway, they decided there wasn't any point in worrying too much. They had two days left to get to Utah. And uh, they decided they would check out the cruise ship. Well, and they did. Well, three little yellow birds, well, actually, one green bird and two yellow birds are kind of hide, hard to hide on a cruise ship. And they flew around the ship and they saw some other birds, too, that were, like, hitching a ride on it. And they kind of looked like seagulls. You know, they were big white birds with gray wings. And they were a little scared of them because they were so big of birds, they just kind of stayed away from them for a while. And uh, so they went over, and they flew over the top of the water slide, and they looked down, and Ollie says, Hey, Smalls, you think you can do that? Hope says, Well, I'm definitely not doing it. I don't ever want to get in water again after that surfboarding thing in, in Hawaii when I almost died. Plus, you think there's sharks in there? I don't know. We never saw any sharks. Well, there's water, and them birds were telling us that there's sharks, and that's water. And I think there might be some sharks in there, said Hope. I'm not getting in there. No way. I'm not going in no water ever again. Small says, Well, I don't know. But that thing was kind of fun. The people were getting on the top. They would get on a tube, and they would come down the water slide, round and round they'd go, and come down the bottom in a big pool, and of course they'd splash. Well, Ollie and Smalls wanted to do it, and they did. They waited until there was a tube that didn't have any people on it, and they flew and jumped right on it, and they went down, and it was a wild ride. They had so much fun doing it. I mean, it was a blast. And Hope just sat there and watched. And uh, they got back up. And Ollie said, hey, I really want to try that wave pool over there, man. I want to do some, I want to do some surfing again. Well, they looked around and they found a little board. Now, they don't know what kind of board this was, but it was definitely not a surfboard. But Ollie says, I think I could use that little board right there, man. I, I bet I can do that, you know. I bet I can just use that. Well, it was late in the day on the boat, and there weren't any people using it, but the waves were still rolling. And so he gets up in there, and he throws his little board in there, and he jumps in, and he starts paddling out just like they showed him how to do it. And the first wave came, and sure enough, he stood up. Well, Smalls is videoing all this stuff because there isn't a bird on the planet that's going to believe, number one, that a bird can surf, but number two, that a bird could surf while a bird was on a boat. Well, he did. 
he had all kinds of videos of everything that they were doing on this ship. And he had been posting them to YouTube. And of course, the sparrows back home were seeing them. The birds in Africa. The birds in Japan. Everywhere they had been, those birds were watching what they were doing. Well, they started getting messages from birds saying, Hey, we thought you guys were going to Utah. And Hope, Ollie, and Smalls had been reading all the comments. And Smalls started saying, Hey, guys, all the birds on here are saying, like, we're not going to make it, man. Like, we're too far away. Like, you know, we can't get there. Well, how are you getting to know what they're saying if we don't have any signal? Oh, we got signal now, man. Well, come on, Smalls, man. Look on Google Maps and check it out. All right, dudes, let's look, look. And they did. The cruise ship wasn't heading to California. It was going out into the ocean away from California. In fact, the best that they could figure out is that it was actually going to Cancun, Mexico, which was way south from California. Well, where is this Mexico place? I don't know, right here on the map. Look, there's California. And you go down, long ways down there. Way down there. See? Cancun, Mexico. Oh, man. Look how far that is away from Utah. Oh, man. We're never going to get to Utah. What are we going to do? I don't know, man. But we're kind of like stuck out here on this boat now. And this ain't going clear to, to Mexico. What are we going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Well, they were worried. There's no question. But they still were Hope, Ollie, and Smalls, and they still were going to have some fun. Well, they found a deck on the boat where Ollie could skateboard and Smalls could scooter. And, of course, Ollie had given up his bicycle, or not Ollie, but Hope gave up his bicycle, so all he could do was kind of watch and film him with the phone. Well, while the guys were skateboarding and scootering, Three of the big white birds came up next to Hope. And Hope was like, oh no, what do I do? It's some big birds. I don't want them to eat me or nothing. And the big birds go, eh, what's up? Uh, nothing, said Hope. Hey, we know you guys. You're them Hope, Polly, and Smalls guys, aren't you? Uh, maybe? Why? Well, well. We see you guys all the time on YouTube. We think it's pretty cool, man. But we're too big. We can't ride on your scooters and bikes and stuff. Oh. Yeah, you guys are pretty big. You almost need, like, big skateboards and bikes and stuff. Yeah, we're okay, man. We just like to ride on this boat. You know why? Why? Because there's always lots of free food for us to eat here. It's fun. We like to eat the food. That's all we want to do. We just want to eat food. Where are you guys going to? When we're going to Utah, on this boat, they look at each other and they start laughing. This boat don't go to Utah. In fact, no boat goes to Utah. Well, what do you mean? Well, a boat only go to the land. You can't get the boat to go on the land. Oh, no, no, no. We already knew that. We we're going to find another way to get there once we got the land. Well, you're going to have to find a long way to go because... It is a long way from where this boat's going. Yeah, this boat's going to Mexico. Cancun, Mexico. It's going to be really hot there. That's what all these people are doing, man. They're just like tourists. You know, they're on a trip. They're like, they go to Hawaii. They go to Cancun. You know, it's like their Christmas vacation on the boat. So there's lots of really good food and more cookies than usual. And Jed over there, he loves cookies. <laughs> yeah, I like cookies a lot, said that bird. Well, okay, so so what do we do if we go to Cancun? How are we going to get from there to Utah? Mm, I don't know. How are you going to get from California to Utah? Well, we were going to find like a car or a bus or a truck or something and just get on it and go, you know, like look for one for the Utah plates. Hmm, I don't know, man. You guys are just going to have to deal with that when you get there. It's going to be hard. Oh, man, I'm telling you, the boys were so stressed every single minute while they were there. 
They continued to skateboard and scooter and hang around, and yes, they did find out there was a lot of food. But there really wasn't much they could do while they were there. Well, they stayed on the cruise ship, and they stayed as long as they could. And finally, one day, the white birds flew up to them. It was the next day in the afternoon. It was Christmas Eve. And the white bird says, Hey, hey, hop, I, Smalls, come over here, man. And they did. They hopped over. Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, right over there, Mexico. See it? And they looked, and they could see land. And they were like, wow, finally, land. And the pelican said to him, hey, guys, you know what? It is not that far over there. This boat is really keep going to go slow. You Maybe you might want to fly over there because you'll get there faster. Oh, you're right, man. They really needed to get off this boat. It was Christmas Eve, and they didn't have any time to spare. They only had a few hours before they needed to be in Utah. Well, they took off flying across the ocean. And Hope says, hey, what if there's a shark jumps up out of the water and gets us? What? Why are you worried about sharks, Hope? Because them birds said them sharks would eat us if they were this long and giant. Remember, they made the marks in the sand and they said, these things are really giant and they'll eat us. Yeah, I know, but we never saw any of them. Well, what if they can? What if they can come up out of water really fast through the air and they got like wings or something and they bite us? Okay, Hope, they're supposed to be fish. Just fly. Don't worry about it. So they kept flying. And yes, Hope really was worried about this. Well, they finally make it to shore. And it is Mexico, and there's music playing in the air, and they can smell all kinds of Mexican food cooking. And they had smelled that stuff before, because they could remember at the house when the, when the man was making burritos and stuff. And uh, they looked around, and there were a lot of birds in Mexico. Now, I'm telling you, there was almost as many birds in Mexico as there was in Brazil. Well, let's put it this way. They flew right up to the first group of birds they could find. And these were really cool looking birds. Some were yellow, some were green. They were all colors of birds and stuff. And the birds looked at them and they saw the phone and the skateboard and the scooter. And they go, hey man, you guys, you're hopefully in smalls. Hey, man, we know who you guys are. This is great, man. What are you doing here in Mexico, man? Hey, we're trying to get to Utah, and we don't know what to do. You want to get to Utah, man? Well, no, you want to stay here in Mexico, man. This is a place to be. Mexico's really cool. No, no, no. We got somebody special for Christmas. Christmas? That's a ma. Yeah, we know. Yeah, man, you're going to have to get busy because... Well, you know, I don't think you can get there by the mar from here. Not from Mexico. That's a really long way up the, up the way. You got to go all the way through California, Nevada, and then into Utah. And then uh, we, where are you going in Utah? Uh, well, we're going to Willard. Well, hey, man, you know what? We don't know where that's at, but here, we want to, we want you guys to see us skating stuff here in Mexico. Yeah, man, that's what we want to do. Oh, guys, we really got to get going. Hey, man, I already know a way you can get there tonight. I got it. I got a plan. What's your plan? Well, I won't tell you about it. But first, we want to come and we want to show you our Mexico skate park. Hope Ollie and Smalls looked at each other and thought, well, what do we got to lose? I guess we got to go. And they did. And they went with them. And no joke. The Mexican skate park was big. It was really big. And there were birds everywhere. And they had some pretty outrageous skateboards and scooters and bikes. And what was really cool about all the Mexicans' bikes and stuff was how cool they had them painted. I mean, they had some of the coolest paint jobs you ever saw on their bikes and scooters and skateboards. Uh, their skate park was painted really bright, too. I mean, it was like 
all kinds of like art that they did, like words and all kinds of stuff and pictures of birds riding skateboards and scooters and just all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, they stayed and they did. They scootered with them and they skated with them. And of course, Smalls is taking videos of them all. And they wanted Hope and Ollie and Smalls to show them all their stuff. Well, of course, Ollie, he gets on his skateboard and he takes off and he starts showing them everything. And finally, he gets to the point and he says, Hey guys, man, look, we don't want to be rude to you, man, but it's like so important to us that we get to Utah. We kind of ended up on a world tour. Yeah, man, we know. We've been, like, checking you guys out on YouTube, man. Like, everywhere you've been, like... And, man, that was so cool what you did for them birds down there in Africa, man. Making sure that they got some stuff like that. That was just... Dude, that was righteous. You guys are some seriously cool birds. Yeah, I know, man, but listen. We gotta get to Utah. You said you kind of, like, maybe, like, knew a trick or something. Like, a way to get us there. Well, yeah, man, it's going to be easy for you. Well, could you tell us? Because we're really worried. Well, don't you know, man? What? Well, it's Christmas Eve. Yeah? Well, man, it's Christmas Eve. Santa Claus, he's going to come flying by here tonight in his sleigh with his reindeer. And all you got to do is, like, get on the sled and say, Hey, Santa, man, take us to Utah. They looked at each other and they were like, did he really just say that? Hey, man, it's for real, dudes. I'm telling you, Santa's going to come. He come every year through here. We've seen him like so many times. Hope Eileen Smalls really did not know what Santa was and who he was. They kind of knew what Christmas was a little bit from what they had seen and read. But this whole Santa Claus thing, this was new to them. Hope says, all right, let me get this right. So there's this guy, this Santa Claus guy, right? Yeah, man. And he flies in what? In a sled, man. Uh, what's a sled? Well, man, it's this thing you ride in, you know, like, like, uh, like if you lived where there was, uh, oh, I don't know, snow. Yeah, snow, that's right, stuff, the snow. You would have a sled that you would have horses pull for you. Oh. Hey, guys, we better get out of here. I think this bird might be crazy. <laughs> Ollie, we got to have to stay, man. What are we going to do? I don't know, but that bird is crazy, man. He's talking about some guy who's flying around in some kind of thing with deer. What the heck? How are we ever into Utah? We, I bet we better start flying and looking for a car. And the guy goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll, birdies. Listen to me, man, I'm telling you. If you stay here and you just have some Christmas spirit, I'm telling you, that Santa Claus, he's going to come, man, and you just get on his sleigh with him and ride with him to Utah. Well, they didn't know what else to do because it was Christmas Eve and it was already starting to get dark. So... They decided they better get some Christmas spirit. Well, they didn't know where to get Christmas spirit. It's Hope, Ollie, and Smalls. They're not even a year old yet. They're just little birds. So they have to have somebody tell them the story of Christmas. And Hope, Ollie, and Smalls had never heard the story of Christmas. How that on that night that God had a son born and his name was Jesus and that three wise men had followed a star and brought gifts to Jesus for being born because he was going to be the savior of the world. Well, the Mexican birds knew all about this, and they were telling Hope, Ollie, and Smalls. And Hope, Ollie, and Smalls were like, wow, that's really beautiful, man. That's like, that's like the greatest story we ever heard in our lives. And they thought, well, that's amazing, man. And they said, so the Santa guy, who's he? Well, man, Santa's like a, he like a symbol of Christmas, you know? He like, he come, he bring gifts to everybody who's good. 
just like the three wise men was bringing the gifts to, uh, you know, to Jesus because he was special and he was born. So Santa, he's like a symbol, you know, he's like the symbol of Christmas because when you see Santa Claus, it means you got to have some Christmas in your heart, which means you want to care about people and you want to you want to do nice things for people. Yeah, kind of like what we did in Africa. Exactly, dudes, man, what you did there was so off the hook to them birds. Santa Claus got to know that you guys took care of them guys and hope when you gave up your bicycle. Man, dude, that was righteous, too. I mean, come on, man. Santa's got to know you guys been some good birds. And I don't know who this little fellow is you're trying to get to see, but he's not pretty important, man. So, I mean, you know, let's all just kind of sit up on a roof and let's just wait and see if he shows up. And when he shows up, I'm telling you, man, you fly right up on there, land on that sled, and you tell him who you are and you tell him why you're trying to get to Utah. Okay, what do they got to lose, thinks the boys. So they fly up on this roof and they sit with these Mexican birds. And Mexico really is beautiful and the lights are all lit up all around them and Christmas lights everywhere. And there's a big cross lit up for Jesus. And all of a sudden, they started to hear something. And all the Mexican birds started chattering really loud. And Hope Polly Smalls goes, what's going on, man? Man, we already told you what's going to happen, man. Don't you hear that noise? That little tinkle sound like that? That's a Santa dude, man. He's coming right now. Hope Polly Smalls are so scared because they don't even know for sure what Santa's about or whether this is true or anything. And the Mexican birds are all going crazy. They're flying up in the air and going around and around. And Hope, Ollie, and Smalls just sit there. And finally, the Mexican bird says, Man, look right up there in the sky. See, there you go, right there. And they look up and they see a little sled with little reindeers pulling it. And they look at each other and they are freaking out so bad. And they're thinking, oh, no, man, what is this about? And the guy goes, get flying, man. Hurry up. That's your chance. Go up there and tell Santa Claus where you got to go. And they just took off flying as fast as they could go. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Santa Sled is extremely fast, and they had the hardest time catching him. And they weren't even sure if they really wanted to catch him or not because they were just so afraid. And they get closer and closer to the sled. Well, the sled starts to slow down. And all of a sudden, the man who's driving turns around and looks at him. And he yells, whoa! And the sled stops. And Hope, Ollie, and Smalls land right up on the front seat. And they're just sitting on the seat looking up at Santa Claus. And Santa looks at him. He goes, ho, 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 Polly and Smalls. And they did not know what to say. Santa knew their name. And all of a sudden, a little guy with pointy ears who was sitting there next to Santa that they didn't even see goes, Hello, guys. How are you? My name's Gerald. I'm from the North Pole. I heard you guys were trying to get to Utah. Oh, no. It's a talking thing, and it's little. Oh, no, it's it's okay. I'm an elf. Hope it's like, okay, what's an elf? You know, like an elf. I make things like toys and stuff for kids, like just like you guys do. We're birds, not elves. <laughs> it's okay, guys. Don't be afraid. Ollie says, how do you know our names? Because, man, you guys are famous. And besides that... You know the house you live in? Back in Ohio. Yeah. Well, one of our elves are there. Didn't you see him sitting on the shelf before you left? Uh, I don't know. Was he? <laughs> they don't know. They do not know what to say. Well, 
anyway, the elf says, Joseph and Adrian told us all about you guys. He hears about your stories all the time. And he knew you were trying to get to Utah. And uh, we're going to give you a ride to Utah. What? Are you kidding? Stay tuned for Christmas Eve. And we'll find out what happens. And we'll find out if Santa really takes Hope, Ollie, and Smalls to the little boy's house in Utah. See ya.